and while I'm in a ranting mode, I've got to get this out of my system so I can get back to work on much more important things because the, nothing's going to change the fucking world. Not me getting on here and rambling. Not anybody else getting on here and rambling. It's all a fucking joke, and you all know that. All I can do is try to open the minds of a few people around, help people, that kind of shit. That's all I can really do. But I am in a ranting mode currently. A ranting mood, too. Uh, but um, I want to talk about this Second Amendment shit. And I know everybody likes to look at Alex Jones and say that motherfucker's crazy. Let me tell you something, that motherfucker's a lot more intelligent than most of you out there. I don't care what your position is. I don't care what your IQ is. I don't care what any of that shit means. That man knows what he's talking about. And, uh, He had been, he said, I heard him use the term real liberal. And he's right, a real liberal would support Second Amendment rights because it's in the goddamn Constitution on one hand. But on the other hand, why the fuck would you want to live in a country where you can't own a gun? I mean, don't worry. We'll find ways. There's lots of uh, unregistered guns out there that they won't be able to find. Uh, so fuck all that shit that they're trying to do. But at any rate, time to take the sunglasses off. <sighs> do you really trust the government enough? Because that's the real threat. It's not about protecting yourself from criminals like the NRA tries to put off. Unless you count the government as criminals. And they're the biggest fucking criminals that exist. Whether we're talking about federal government, state government, or even, in most cases, local government. Though in local government, you do occasionally get good people in there. Um... And that happens. And when that happens, that, that's fine. But let's focus on state and federal government. <sighs> the DOMA horseshit that, uh, that was thankfully only five to four proven unconstitutional would have been the federal government getting involved. In who can get married. It's bad enough the states can tell you you can't get married. I know I'm supposed to be talking about the Second Amendment, but sometimes I ramble. And, uh, you know, the uh, on the conservative side, it's like Rand Paul said that the decision was, was happy with that decision, you know. And Glenn Beck made it seem like he was saying that, well, if one state wants to let people marry animals, uh, Rand Paul's for bestiality, blah, blah, blah. Glenn Beck, go fuck yourself. I watched a thing where you were talking to that guy that developed the printer that can print guns. You were scared shitless. I bet you had a diaper on, you stupid motherfucker. Glenn Beck, you're a worthless piece of shit. All right. And back to Second Amendment, everybody should own a gun if they want to. Um, because how are you going to protect yourself against a government that is becoming increasingly totalitarian? All that shit you're taught growing up in school, pledge allegiance to the flag, blah, 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 freest country in the world. We have the worst prison system in all of the first world and we we make it to where we to where it um, 
there's a financial incentive to put people in jail, specifically nonviolent ones. That's why we have drug laws. Board schools <laughs> made everything um, legal, everything, heroin, all of it. It's been that way for ten motherfucking years. And your stupid media that you listen to blacks that out because Portugal's policy has been a success. Violent crime dropped. Drug use dropped. Addiction dropped. We just have that to put people in jail. Specifically. And specifically minorities as well. So if you're, you know, these liberals that do support the drug war, even the ones that, that say, well, maybe make marijuana legal, but keep everything else illegal, even you motherfuckers are part of the problem. All right? And that's just a fact. But if you want real freedom, there's going to come a time when you're going to need to defend yourself. Because there are people out there that do not like individuals having freedom and they tend to be in government and you know I know Bill Maher likes to bash second amendment that kind of shit but let me tell you something Bill your big your big hero Obama one day he'll come after you for smoking pot and if you don't have your weapon what are you going to do Sure, even if you have the weapon, there's more DEA coming in, but you at least get to kill some of the motherfuckers. Or at least shoot them. Go down fighting. That's what guns are for. Fighting off motherfucking law enforcement, or really enforcement of laws that are entirely ridiculous. To protect yourself, to protect your freedom, to protect your liberty, to protect your choice to do whatever non-violent thing you want to do. That's what liberalism is about. So when you hear all this shit about the Democrats wanting to take uh, limit gun rights, they're, they're worse than conservatives. And I know many liberals are like, oh, conservatives are this, conservatives are that. At least conservatives, even though they may want the gun rights for the wrong reasons, because they're scared uh, uh, in their big upper class neighborhood that some gangsters are going to come in and take their shit. Let me tell you, the biggest gang in the fucking world is the United States government. So that's all I have to say about that. So, watch Alex Jones sometime. Listen to him with an open mind. Don't fucking listen to these idiots like Anderson Cooper or whatever his motherfucking name is. Or Bill O'Reilly or even Keith Olbermann, um, who sadly I used to have respect for, but he's a sellout. Um, Protect yourself.